We're here today with Camille Schreier. She's Miss America 2020, and she left her crown sitting around. Check this out. Uh, 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 Steve, you can't wear the crown only. I didn't want to. I was just going to give it to you. Only I can wear it. Let's I know. Let's put this over here for you now. You should. I don't want it to get hurt. Okay. Let's uh, try it. Recipe. What, do you, what is it? So I like to use about three cups of sugar. Okay. So three cups of sugar. Give me two more. Two. two. Again, this is a little bit of an art. It doesn't have to be exact. Got three. it. Perfect. So three cups of sugar and only one cup of water. Okay. It's a so lot of sugar, not a is. lot of water. Not a lot. But we want it to be a really, really concentrated sugar solution. Got it. And so we'll keep that up, but you see the paste that's in here? Mm -hmm. You're gonna think that it's not liquidy enough. Yeah. And where I failed is I've added a little bit more water. Yeah. I shouldn't be adding more water. And the science to this is the temperature. What does it have to be at? It needs to be at about 170 degrees Fahrenheit and about 76 degrees Celsius. Got it. So pretty hot. Yep, absolutely. So heat that up. That's You're true. gonna get it, and if you go past that point, it starts to crystallize. So you really yeah. have to watch it very carefully, don't you? Absolutely, and it's something you have to be really careful with. But that hot sugar water can yeah. really burn you. Got it. So at 170 degrees, you're going to then pour it into a mason jar like this. Absolutely. And you're going to let it cool, but not completely. Mm -hmm. That's another little finesse that's there. Exactly. Let it cool down a little bit. In the meantime, you got to prepare this. So we're just using these skewers, mm -hmm. right? Uh, and the, how do you do this? You get these wet first? Yeah, I soak my skewers in a little bit of water, get them moist, and then you can actually roll them around in some sugar. There it is. Exactly. Just like this one. And this actually starts the crystal growth. It makes it a little bit easier for those sugar molecules to attach on and turn into really awesome crystals. Cool. And then the other thing I learned is I thought that I was uh, being good about doing three or four drops of food coloring. No, no, no. You, need you a have lot. to do a lot of yes. food coloring. I'm using almost the entire thing of food wow. coloring it has to be pretty dark doesn't it absolutely and let me spin this Stir around it. good and then then you take, put it in there exactly you take this skewer with a little sugar on it good and you stick it right in and I love that we use a clothespin for this because yep. you want it to just kind of sit in the middle of the solution and not move around a lot if it moves it can actually disturb the crystal growth got it five ten minutes right um maybe a little longer than that. a day two days Three days, maybe Three days, more. maybe. In fact, let me bring over very carefully the ones that have been sitting yeah. here for a long time. Let's reveal, know. look at that. Oh, oh my those gosh. fantastic. These look those are awesome. good. Really, really, really good. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Fantastic, all right? These look so cool. So the trick cool. here is time, right? Definitely. Temperature, time, just patience, a little patience. bit of art behind that as well. Exactly. Let those dry off. Uh, an amazing way to be able to make rock candy. Yeah. And it's easy for you to be able to make your own rock candy at home. I'm Steve Spangler. I'm Camille Schreier. And that's your Science Minute. This one rocks. <laughs> they just keep coming, don't they?